They're two of the biggest names in their fields. When you think of role-playing games, you think of Square. And when you think of animated films, you think of Disney. So when we heard that they were teaming up to create a new game that combined their strengths, we couldn't wait to find out more. This started out through an elevator ride. So Square's offices are in the same building as our offices in Tokyo. I've heard some people saying Square was the initiator. That story has been circulating around. But that's not quite what happened. Disney initiated it. The offer came to our producer first. When Sakaguchi-san and the Disney producer were talking about vague production ideas for this project, I happened to run into them and heard about it. So I told them that I might have some good ideas. So we started talking about ideas about a Mickey RPG or other types of things, and ideas started flying around. So when we finally got to an idea that we all agreed with, we said, hey, this is great, let's go. And then Square put their, as usual, incredible resources against the title and uh, came out with magic, I think. Wow! The two powerhouses have created a totally unique game, one that combines the world of Disney with the sensibility of a Final Fantasy game. Disney movies each have their own unique world, such as Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Tarzan, and so on. The world of Kingdom Hearts combines those Disney worlds together into one world, as well as some new worlds. If I would express it in one word, it is about heart. The main character Sora travels around the Disney world and discovers its true meaning. Kingdom Hearts is about a, a character named Sora who lives on a little island and is always aspiring to go out and be an adventurer and see the world and do all kinds of wonderful things. And he does this with two friends of his, Riku and Kairi. And they sit around, they talk about what, how great it would be to adventure out. So they plan an adventure to see the world using a small raft. Each character has their own thoughts and goals about the adventure. But the day of embarkation, a storm hits the island. Not a natural storm, but a mystical one. And that's when he comes involved with Donald and Goofy, who are in the Disney universe, both the magician and the court guard. And they're off to find their King Mickey, who has disappeared. No one knows where he is. Along the way, Sora ventures through 10 different worlds and meets over 100 Disney characters. He also encounters the Heartless, a new enemy created by Square. The Heartless are shadows that were originally born from the dark side of the heart. They do not have hearts and attack those that do. They are darkness, if I express them in one word. Like the name tells you, they do not have hearts. They are enemies that appear everywhere. I wanted to create motion that has never been seen in any other game. They move like bugs or animals, definitely not like humans. And they have a world that is being sucked dry of resources. So they get smart and they try to suck the resources, the magic and the happiness and the goodness from the Disney worlds. So Sora and our adventurers, Donald and Goofy, go off in order to defeat the Heartless, bring equilibrium back to the universe, and happiness and magic will forever live on. The differences between Disney-style animation and the Japanese style that Square is famous for presented the game's designers with a major challenge. Prior to actually getting into the production process, I had told Disney that I would not intentionally alter any of the new Square character designs, just for them to fit into the world of Disney. I did not think it was necessary. Besides, there are already dissimilarities along Disney character designs. For example, Donald and Tarzan don't blend together well. So I did not force myself to adjust my designing style, as long as the color and the feel of the characters matched and wasn't awkward when seen on screen. However, the three main characters, Sora, Donald, and Goofy, travel through all of these worlds. So we tried to maintain some consistency so they would blend well together while sustaining their visual independence. 
I was unsure about the Nightmare Before Christmas world and the Winnie the Pooh world in the beginning stages of production. They are both so distinct that I thought of changing the styles of the three main characters as well. With that issue sorted out, the designers then turned their imagination to the Disney characters, where they were allowed to do something that's practically unheard of, embellish their appearance for the game. We received a set of guidelines beforehand, but they asked us not to add anything that did not originally appear in the Disney cartoons. Tarzan carries a spear in the original movie, so that was no problem. Donald was allowed to carry a stick and Goofy has a shield, but they did not permit us to let them carry swords or anything like that. We suggested the change of costume. Our director, Nomura-san, drew image illustrations for Donald and Goofy in the Little Mermaid world, and we discussed the designs with Disney who approved them. Other costumes were drawn based on rough sketches by Disney. Nightmare Before Christmas World is not an ordinary Disney world, so the key was how well we could blend Disney characters, such as Donald and Goofy, into this particular world. Working on the Disney characters was a challenge for the Square team, but it was one they enjoyed. We animators consider Disney an inventor of film animation. Disney is the original animation company and is always in everyone's mind. I am proud of myself, accomplishing her job and also being part of a Disney project. Obviously, we have a lot of knowledge that's kind of part of the deal of being a little Walt Disney company about the characters in the worlds that we tried to share with them. So we had little chalk talks. We connected them with some of the animators from the Walt Disney Company from Feature Animation and told them a little bit about what the motivation was for the character. Disney offered a class for a day. We learned the basics of how a Disney film is made. After that, I watched tons of videos since each movie has a different feel. I was watching nothing but Disney videos for six months. I studied the characteristics of each character and then delivered them into the game. And I think that's really displayed beautifully in how well they animated the characters in 3D. They move just like they're 2D animated in a lot of ways. And so those chalk talks didn't really paid off. After spending a considerable amount of time with the Kingdom Hearts team, we couldn't help but wonder what Walt would think of Square and Disney's latest creation. I would only hope that Walt and everyone else that were involved in Walt Disney Company for all those years and created such a wonderful legacy would be proud and really excited about how innovatively this product will go out there and how creatively it pushed the limits.